I bow to my teachers who have granted me knowledge and the Adi Guru Dakshinamurti. This is an attempt to present a simple lecture demonstration on a beautiful topic, Chaturvida Abhinaya. I presume most of the guests watching me are dancers or dance lovers who would have heard this word, known this word and used to this word in their speech and conversations. I welcome each and everyone and I'm happy to share what little I have gathered from this vast ocean of Natya. Having bowed down to the cosmic power, what does a dancer represent or what does she bring on her or with her on stage in front of the audience? Abhinay Darpana says, Asena Lambayet Gheetam Haste Nartam Pradashayet Chakshubhyam Darshayet Bhavam Padapyam Talam Ascharet The dancer's throat gives the music, her hands goes for communication and her eyes give the bhava and her feet are with the thalam. Four different things, yet the dancer is one. Dance is one. Number four, there are so many that come in a four package. Vedas are four, Vrittis are four, Prime Directions four, Prime Colors four, Seasons four, Purushartams four and many, yes most importantly, Chaturvida Abhinaya. Bharata in Nati Shastra gives a shloka which is referred as Sangraha Shloka. He names 11 concepts that are part of a visual presentation. Rasa, Bhava, Abhinaya, Dharmi, Vritti, Pravritti, Siddhi, Swara, Atodya, Ganam and Rangam all come to a confluence, Sangrahat, to create the beautiful visual. To reach the epitome, Rasa, the next placed two are Bhava and Abhinaya. What is Abhinaya? Let's start with the word. As we see, the word is split into two, Abhi and Naya. Abhi. The first reference to the word Abhi is found in the ancient Hindu sacred text Rig Veda, Book 1, Hymn 164. The word frequently appears in the Veda, Upanishad and Bhagavad Gita. Depending on the context, sometimes it is a preposition, sometimes an adverb and so on. According to McDonald's Sanskrit Dictionary, it is an adverb. It means unto, near. As a preposition, it can mean to, against, over, for the sake of, with regard to, etc. The word on its own can mean the first ray of sunlight. Now, Naya. This word comes from the root ni. We have to look at it in which context it is put to use. When it comes to drama and dance, it takes meanings like leading, thought, principle, system, method, etc. Putting them together, abhi and naya, the word abhinaya is of a masculine vocative singular and means indication, action, expression, dramatic action and suggestion and so many more. That brings us close to what we have known for long. Abhinaya is used in the sense of acting which is imitation of a condition. I really want to talk at length. Let's see how much we are able to move in this topic. Is this imitation an action or a technique to do an action? 
Let me repeat. Is it the action or imitation itself or the technique to do the action or imitation? Yes, it is the technique. Now let us say light. What do you mean? Do you mean the bulb or the tube? Or do you mean the light that the bulb or the tube gives you? Let's understand this. There is a bulb and there is light that is given out by the bulb. Quite often, when you travel to the West and work on performances venue with lighting, you are supposed to say lighting equipment. So the light and the equipment are like us having a body and a soul. Or, am I too philosophical? Well, as we are trying to know about Abhinaya, I wanted to point out that there is a technique and it needs a vehicle or a body to travel. The travel here means moving from one place to another. That is, from the performer to the audience. The lighting equipment glows and shows itself and sends out light. Or, can I use the word express in the place of send? Maybe. So, the equipment glows and sends light. Similarly, the body, the dancer's body, is capable of glowing with expression and sending communication. <laughs> Story, etc.